I'm Carissa Vacker, and welcome back to Sleep Wave, a podcast where we let waves of relaxation wash over you through original sleep meditations created to help you fall asleep tonight. And don't worry if you don't hear the end of an episode. I encourage you to drift off whenever you're ready. One morning before my toddler and I needed to leave the house, he got upset about having to put his shoes on. He was busy playing and wanted to keep playing and was not on board with my plan to have us get in the car. He was entering full meltdown territory. At first, my impulse was to rush him, pick him up, put his shoes on, and put him in the car. But I knew that would only cause more strife for us both. So instead, I sat with him and reassured him I was there, that I could see he was upset, and that we were on the same team. I then just sat there quietly and breathed deeply for a few moments, mostly to calm and ground myself. And after a minute or two of this, something unexpected happened. I could see his little body take a few deep breaths too, and he quieted down. A few seconds later, we made eye contact and he began to giggle. I started to laugh too, and then he crawled over in my lap and I held him for a few seconds before we peacefully put his shoes on together and left the house easily. What happened was that I was witnessing his feelings, holding space for them, without reacting to them. And I realized that while I was happy to do this for him, I don't often allow the same space to do that for myself. So in meditation recently, I've been very purposefully witnessing all my emotions and physical discomforts and just sitting with them, saying, oh, there's some anxiety in my belly or a stuck feeling in my chest and I have a slight headache, and then just being okay with that. I think I sometimes think that if I accept things the way they are, then that means they'll stay that way. But the opposite is actually true. By accepting things, you stop resisting them and create the space for them to just move on through. One meditation technique that I love is imagining that you are sitting opposite yourself. You are watching yourself meditate. This simple visualization always brings me to a focused place of awareness where I can fully witness myself. I usually end up feeling a surprising amount of compassion for myself, just as I was able to do with my child when I was witnessing him. So tonight, we're going to do that together. We are going to allow ourselves space to be compassionate witnesses for ourselves, accepting our whole selves just as we are right now. Get cozy, take a deep breath, and let's meditate together to... The Power of Witnessing by Billy Gill. According to Buddhist tradition, Siddhartha Gautama, the historical figure who is commonly known as the Buddha, attained enlightenment when he was able to withstand the temptations of the Kamamara. Kamamara is the personification of desire and ignorance. On his inward journey, the Buddha had to encounter certain energies within himself that would thwart the dawning of enlightenment. Mara represents these hindrances, and Buddhist mythology embodies, in symbolic language, the process of enlightenment as it manifests in the story of the Buddha. Symbolic images tap into our subconscious and have the power to transcend cultural and linguistic barriers. As a spiritual tradition, Buddhism values the direct insight that often comes in a flash of awareness even more than it values logical or intellectual precision. By relating the Buddha's experience of enlightenment in symbols, the story acts on the subconscious and produces an inner experience. As the story goes, the Buddha had resolved to attain enlightenment. As he pursued his noble goal, Mara took on a form known as the Kama Mara that plays particularly on the sensual attachments which everyone is prone to indulge. He presented Siddhartha Gautama with an array of enticing and seductive visions in order to sway him from his path. 
These visions are sometimes known as Mara's daughters or Mara's seductive forms. They are typically represented as alluring young women who possessed extraordinary beauty and charm, captivating the senses and arousing desire. The meaning of these symbols points to the strength of our biological impulse to become enthralled by sensual desire. From this impulse, we develop strong attachments, which can easily disturb our concentration, perhaps more easily than anything else. The Buddha had made a strong resolution to achieve profound insight into the nature of reality, the causes of suffering, and the path to liberation. Whenever we declare a goal for ourselves, and especially when we set a very high goal, there are myriad distractions that arise almost immediately. There are so many short-term goals that might satisfy us and therefore cause us to abandon our resolve. Mara symbolizes all of the distractions that might cause us to forget our highest goal. The Buddha is able to remain undeterred by these distractions and attains enlightenment. At that precise moment, he touches the earth in a symbolic gesture known as Bhumishparsha Mudra, the earth-touching gesture. In effect, he is calling upon the earth itself to bear witness and testify to his attainment of enlightenment. Again, this symbolic language has the potential to awaken understanding within us that goes beyond rational thought. At the moment when the Buddha performs this gesture, it is believed that the earth itself responded. It is said to have trembled and declared that, this is my son who is worthy of enlightenment and proclaimed recognition of his achievement. This symbolizes the profound relationship of seeing and being seen. For nature itself to recognize the inner transformation of a human being affirms the significance of it. When we meditate, this story can serve as a reminder of how powerful it can be to simply bear witness to your own thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Tonight's sleep meditation will allow you to acknowledge and practice the depth of witnessing and feel yourself deeply rooted and grounded in your own experience. You are here. You are here now, on this planet, on this earth. The earth bears witness to your being here. Feel how that knowledge anchors you and connects you to not only the earth, but to nature itself. Take a deep breath in through your nostrils. And as you exhale, open your mouth and release the cares and worries of the day. Allow your body to become more and more relaxed as you settle into a comfortable position in your bed. Say to yourself, silently in your mind, I will now practice sleep meditation. For the duration of this meditation, I will remain very still. If you need to make any final adjustments to your body, pillow, blanket, please feel free to do so. Once you have found a comfortable position for relaxation, try to be still. If you have to move, just make sure that they are conscious movements. No unconscious movements. Allow yourself to become calm and steady. Watching your belly rise and fall with each inhale and exhale. Relax any tension in your lower abdomen. As you grow more and more relaxed, the belly will also relax, and it will be easy to let the belly rise and fall with the breath. From time to time, thoughts and feelings may arise to disturb your relaxation. These same distractions even arose for the Buddha on his path to enlightenment. 
When Mara appeared to the Buddha, he was able to triumph over those forces that could have easily distracted him. He was able to do this by remaining still. If he allowed his mind to be attached to the visions of Mara's daughters, he would not have been steadfast. Instead, he remained at the still point. This still point is the point of non-reaction. There is no need to push or pull on experience. At the still point, you are able to observe what is arising in the present moment. This is a state of mind that can be achieved in deep meditation through practice. In this state, the mind is no longer identified with what it sees. It's as though the Buddha didn't identify with his body and was therefore liberated from the attachments that arise from the senses. This is a height of mastery that is available to all, but may take a long time to achieve. As you breathe in and out, calmly watch your belly rising and falling. When thoughts come to disturb your relaxation, simply call your attention back to this gentle, rhythmic breathing. When you do, you return to the state of witnessing. By letting your awareness favor the breath, the thoughts and emotions will dissolve just as Mara's visions disappeared before the Buddha. Go on, watching the breath rise and fall at the level of the belly. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Inhale, navel rising, exhale, navel falling, inhale, navel rising, exhale, navel falling. Continue on at your own pace for some time. Reflect on the profound meaning of being here. You are present, aware and receptive to the world around you. You are part of the fabric of the universe. You are connected to the whole. Relax deeply into this intricately woven fabric where every thread is integral to the whole. The earth bears witness to you as you cultivate this deep sense of connection and wholeness.
visualize yourself seated under the Bodhi tree. This is the same tree where the Buddha sat when he attained enlightenment and called upon the earth to bear witness. It symbolizes the shelter and refuge of spiritual practice. Nature is all around us and within us. As you sit beneath this tree, feel the huge, expansive branches above you, protecting you as you take refuge in the practice of witnessing. Return to the breath. Let the belly easily rise and fall. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Continue on breathing in this way for a few moments. Feel the earth supporting you. With each breath, feel the deep sense of connection to the earth. Its steady support is always there at any moment. Whenever thoughts, feelings, or emotions appear to distract you, feel this strong support holding you and carrying you. Sense the ancient wisdom of the earth. Everything that you must go through in your life, the earth has seen many times over. See the earth as a steady and compassionate presence as you sit beneath the shelter and refuge of this tree. The timeless wisdom and unconditional support of the earth hold space for you, acknowledging all that you have experienced and bearing witness to your journey. The earth is witnessing your growth and your transformation as it continues to support you. The earth is always there to do this. Always. The earth teaches you how to be a witness for yourself. You are present, here and now. See yourself as this wise and compassionate presence. Allow yourself to be held by this witnessing presence. See yourself seated beneath the tree in deep meditation.
take refuge in the practice of inner quiet, inner calm, inner silence. Bear witness to all that you are feeling. Give space to what arises. Let come what comes. Let go what goes. Don't hold on to anything. At the still point, there is no one there to be swayed by distractions. Fears, anxiety, stress. These two will disappear in the profound gesture of bearing witness to what is. Be present with yourself and acknowledge your own presence in the face of any circumstances. The calm, steady presence of the earth guiding you and supporting you in the process. As you move deeper and deeper into sleep, there is a calm presence that is simply witnessing as tension falls away moment by moment. This calm witnessing presence watches as you feel your body sinking deeper and deeper into the mattress. Each new breath bears witness to the peaceful sleep that gradually appears. Remain at the still point. The breath moves the belly up and down, up, and down, up, and down. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Inhale, navel rising, exhale, navel falling. The witness remains unmoving. Continue breathing at your own pace. Feel your connection to the earth. Feel the earth's connection to you. We bear witness to each other. Can we remain calm and steady as we see ourselves and others as children of this earth who see us and bear witness to our struggles and triumphs. See yourself beneath the tree. See yourself sitting very peacefully on the ground. Feel its silent strength beneath you. Your hand touches the earth 
the earth responds. You are here. Now bring this calm presence, this awareness, and this profound insight of seeing and being seen into your body as your belly rises and falls. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Continue breathing in this way for some time. The quiet of the night embraces you. The stars in the sky shine down on you peacefully. The soft serenity of your bed surrounds you. The gentle rhythm of your breath sends you deeper and deeper into slumber. Feel the sense of spaciousness in your heart as you allow the day to drift away. Let come what comes. Let go what goes. See what remains. The witnessing, conscious presence is there. Allow yourself to surrender into the fullness of the earth. Release into the whole tapestry of nature and the cosmos. As you fall asleep, 
you merge with the whole and the whole merges with you. Sleep. Sleep. Sleep.